indeed, speaking for us, this is a very momentous occasion in our history and must be recorded as such. The United States of America is 20, 248 years old since it, its independence. And for that entire two and a half centuries, no vice president of the United States has undergone a process of removal by way of impeachment. In a way, we are making history. And for me, it is such a, an important occasion for the 13th Parliament and this Senate that it will go down in the annals of history that the first impeachment of a deputy president in the Republic of Kenya was undertaken by this particular Senate. And we come here with a lot of confidence that the Senate is not new to the process of impeachment as understood under our Constitution. Indeed, the Senate has handled so many impeachment proceedings in relation to the offices of governors and deputy governors. And more importantly, that this, this Senate has been a great contributor in establishing the jurisprudence revolving around the impeachment process in the Republic of Kenya. Many of the cases that have gone for determination in the, our system of courts, high courts, court of appeal, and the Supreme Court have involved the participation of the Senate. So as we address you today, we are not addressing a chamber that is dealing with a novel idea. Indeed, by dint of Article 10 of the Constitution, which requires all state organs and state officers to make any decisions or apply the law and the Constitution, they are required to apply the Constitution of the Republic of Kenya. That is by dint of Article 1, Article 10, sub-Article 1. So it should...